Hello everyone. So in this session, we'll just have a look on uh, how to deal with the uh, L4 coordinates. So if you want to uh, create the wings and all by using SolidWorks, uh, <coughs> curve profiles, how to do that one. So for that, you should utilize the browser. From there, uh, you can directly search for uh, air foils. Okay, for example, uh, Naka, <coughs> any air foils. So if I just search for that, you're gonna get the uh, airfoiltools.com. So if you go over there, you're gonna get the airfoil shapes. Let's say I'm dealing with the Naka 2412 airfoil. So if you want you can search here from A to Z filters are available from there uh, you can search for the airfoils for now I'll replace the same so here yeah, one more important thing is <coughs> if you want your airfoil should be with respect to your requirement you can add the maximum camber position or the number of points how much you want and the uh, thickness each and everything you can mention by yourself and you can produce it okay like if I click on float, it's gonna float accordingly and you can directly utilize this option that is sent to airfoil plotter and from here <coughs> you can uh, specify the chord length okay and then so once you uh, produce it you can simply uh, download it as a csv file coordinates okay let me just reproduce it and then I'm having this uh, <coughs> yeah could see this is the uh, downloaded uh, excel sheet according to uh, your airfoil okay <coughs> now what I'll do is I'll create one more uh, copy and here uh, from this one I'll copy this uh, airfoil coordinates so let's say from here to here these are the coordinates so I need to control C and I'll paste it here okay now this is X Y and I need one more uh, <coughs> direction that is Z so I'll specify 0 so it should be at exactly at the origin so I'll add up to here so now we have the XYZ coordinates here. So now we can copy these all the stuff. So before that, I'm gonna save these as text file. Save as on the desktop. I'm gonna save it. So as one, two, three. Okay. So this should be as uh, <coughs> text tab delimited okay now say this as a text format and just simply say yes so once you save it you can directly go back to your solid folks control and part and then <coughs> so here i need to write so for that i'll use the inserts then curves from there we have this curve through xyz points i'll browse for this text file so you can directly go to desktop and I need the text files. One, two, three is my requirement. I'll simply click on OK. Uh, the file name is was invalid or not found or locked. So I need to close this. Don't save. I'll go back. <coughs> Let me try once again. Yep, you could see the airfoil coordinates got added so you can simply click on ok so that you can have this here you can utilize the front plane and if you want this to be copied you can use the convert and replace so that you can have that one okay so now if you want to place one more at a certain distance so for that what to do so what you can do is you can simply create a plane <coughs> so by using features and plane I'm gonna just add a plane with respect to front plane. Okay, you can define the distance as 100. Okay, I'll click simply green check here. So, on this, I need to place again and go back to the browser. Here, uh, the hard line should be less for me, so let me check, take it as 50. 
and plot it. So according to that, the ed file got created. Again, you can download the CSV file, browse it, and then you can use the same file. You can copy these. Control C, Control M, Control P. So this time, so that should be at 100 mm distance from the origin. So you can specify the same. Okay, so you can place it accordingly. So once you add it, you can see this as text file here. So one, two, three, four. So next here the text format, the desktop. I'll save it. So once you save it, you need to close this file, and then you can quickly go back again. Use insert curves goes to XYZ search for the file filter is text one two three four just click on green check okay good see this is ready can you simply sketch on it select it <coughs> can it less convert and it is and then you can hide your plane okay so now if you can you can use uh, surfacing otherwise feature locked to just stay with the surfaces so i think it's open at the end i need to close it anyway so let me do the same first so i'm gonna edit this sketch okay at this location i'll simply join these two okay and then <laughs> okay, and then same thing for this. Sorry. Okay, so we are done with this. Can correctly go back and use loft. Okay, like this can create it you can tilt that one by using the let's say if you want to i'll give the angle for that angle of a tank you can use the sketch and uh, there is a tool called uh, rotate entities select all these sketches by just uh, <coughs> removing the uh, relations to the uh, sketch okay so fine so that's all about this particular session stay tuned